It's Medicosis Perfectionalis with a new series, Rheumatology. Yes, indeed, let's start talking about the diseases of the joints. First, let's break this word down. Rheumatology. Rheum means flow of a current such as like a thin fluid or something like that because they used to think about rheumatology as like a fluid spreading across the body causing symptoms in different organs with different conditions so the disease actually is not flowing as a fluid as you know of course but the old name remains the same rheumatology ology means the study of don't say Science. Ology is not the same as science. For instance, you know astronomy, it's a science and it doesn't end with an ology. However, astrology ends in an ology, but it's not science. Astrology is garbage. Mm, Sorry, folks. So, rheumatology is the branch of medicine that deals with diagnosis and treatment of rheumatic diseases such as autoimmune diseases autoinflammatory diseases crystalline arthritis metabolic bone diseases pain syndromes and vasculitides those are not actual diseases those are categories we will discuss them later in next videos rheumatism okay commonly used Okay, not specific. It means any disease with pain and inflammation of joint, muscle, or connective tissue. Usually they mean rheumatoid arthritis, but again, it's not specific. It's not a scientific name. Rheumatism is kind of like the public. They know it this way. Some bullet points for rheumatology. No single blood test whatsoever can confirm the diagnosis. Just because you have positive ANA doesn't necessarily mean that you have lupus. ANA could be positive in many conditions, including normal people. So, the test has to fit with the patient's history and physical exam. Rheumatology is all about pattern recognition. If it looks like a duck, swims like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's probably a duck pattern recognition very important that's why rheumatology is more difficult than for instance hematology because in hematology you do the bone marrow biopsy send it to the pathologist boom you have the diagnosis rheumatology is more difficult you need a certain history with a certain physical exam with a certain imaging with certain lab investigation together if they fit the pattern you can diagnose it What are examples of rheumatological conditions? Autoimmune diseases such as systemic lupus, erythematosus, sarcoidosis, rheumatoid arthritis, autoinflammatory diseases such as familial Mediterranean fever as well as Stills disease, crystalline arthropathy such as gout or pseudogout, metabolic bone diseases such as osteoporosis and Paget's disease. Pain syndromes, fibromyalgia, residual cuff tear, etc. Vasculitides such as Bichette's, granulomatosis with polyangiitis, Kawasaki, Borgers, etc. If you can help me reach 25,000 subscribers on YouTube, we can start a new series including rheumatology. We will make a vote soon and you can vote which of these subjects would you like to see next. So, what would you like to see next? Please let me down below in the comments and please consider supporting this channel on Patreon. It takes a lot of time to produce these videos, so any support will be appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Subscription by itself doesn't mean anything. Hit the bell to get notifications when I release a new video. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis. Be safe, stay happy, and study hard. And welcome to Rheumatology.